Okay, welcome everyone to the fifth lecture of this course. Right. Just a second. Fine. So today we are going to learn about the noise margin modeling. Okay. So before we go ahead with the noise margin, so yeah, uh, we have to first understand the very basic concept of stability of a circuit. Okay. So this is a typical Barkhausen criteria. I'm not going into much about the control systems way. I think you have studied it in your BTEC. So just to recall, um, for in for maintaining the stability of the system, we usually go for the negative feedback. Like in our yesterday's lecture, also we discussed something about the source degeneration and the BJT emitter degeneration, right? So uh, the whole idea is that you can deal something, deal you can actually deal with the gain, okay, by putting in multiple stages, okay. But as far as uh, your uh, bandwidth is concerned or the immune, noise immunity is concerned, then uh, stability is concerned. So there are several other factors which are essentially improved by negative margin, negative uh, feedback. So if we are essentially going for the negative feedback, then uh, we of course compromise on the gain on a single stage, but we are getting several other, several other benefits, right? So if we want to ensure that your digital IC, okay, in this case, the simplest one is an inverter. If your inverter operates in the stability zone, okay, then what we have to do is we have to ensure that we do not have, uh, we do not satisfy the Barkhausen criterion. Now, what is bad for an inverter is actually good. Uh, what is bad for an amplifier? Uh, it is actually good for an oscillator. We will understand this. For example, this is a typical negative feedback configuration. So the output, this is input. Since it is negative feedback, we are essentially sampling the output and then feeding the input, feeding to the input in the negative phase with a phase difference of 180 degrees. Okay. Then basically the output voltage VO, I mean, first of all, I am showing this only as a voltage amplifier. Okay. Please remember it can also be currents also. Um, I will under, I will basically discuss something with you concerning the sampling and mixing concepts here so that it becomes easier for you to pick up the analog IC design. And later on, uh, I mean, this is basically the basic feedback concepts. So uh, we will revise it a little bit. So if you notice from this case, this VO will be equal to VI minus beta into VO. So that's what I have done. Okay. And then from there, you will get, get that uh, AV, that means the voltage gain, F means with feedback. Okay. So what is the AV not? If you notice AV0 or AVO, somebody call, some people call it, is without the feedback. So that will be simply equal to A, this A, VO by VI, but without feedback. So that is called the intrinsic gain of the amplifier. So there are a couple of things. The intrinsic gain is without feedback, but as a including feedback as a whole system, you have to also include the A beta, I mean this uh, feedback factor as well. All right, so this is very simple. Now, what is the loop gain? If you notice the loop gain is A beta. Now the pole of this system happens to be this one plus A beta equal to zero. Why is it a pole? Because at that particular point, this system becomes I mean, this AVF becomes undefined. So A beta equal to minus one leads to instability or sustained oscillation. So instability is something very bad for our amplifier or digital ICs or whatever circuits you are making. However, if you are making an oscillator, then A beta equal to minus one is something which you require. 
you should that that because that will essentially ensure the sustained oscillations so that means if the input is varying the output will vary i am showing a little bit of gain factor here okay so what i'm suggesting is i mean the output should not increase the output should not decrease it should remain sustained oscillation so sustained oscillation is possible when only when a beta equal to minus 1 so in uh, analog ic design if you learn about oscillator designs oscillator falls under the analog ic design concepts so if you are designing oscillators then a beta equal to minus 1 is something which you will impose specifically in the design okay whereas in case of digital ic design analog ic design this is something which you will avoid at all cost okay we want our inverter to either go to vdd or to zero as early as possible if it reaches this uh, a beta equal to minus 1 point what will happen the output will go on oscillating you will never achieve stability got it okay now my questions this is a voltage amplifier okay the output is voltage input is in uh, voltage then what kind of sampling sampling means basically the part of the output which you are taking in for the feedback mixing is what mixing means part of the feedback which you are adding to the input obviously if it is a negative feedback obviously you will be doing negative feedback only if it is positive feedback uh, the output will go on increasing so it's not i mean preferred most in the amplifier designs in certain oscillations if there is an attenuation in the forward path then sometimes people will give one positive feedback but that positive feedback amount will be very less it will simply compensate the loss in the feed forward path but otherwise mostly you will not get so if it is a negative feedback okay so the mix uh, the part of the feedback that goes into the input is called the mixing so this is the sampling circuit so this is not exactly part of avlsi course advanced vlsi design course it is part of your knowledge about feedback so um i mean i can teach feedback also in depth but this is not the course for that in analog you are supposed to learn it and this is again part of the circuit theory basic basic circuit theory and in the interviews people will be asking questions might ask questions on this feedback okay this is sampling and this is mixing okay now if it is a voltage amplifier what kind of sampling will you do very simple since the output is voltage from the voltage net uh, output network i am going to sample the voltage and in, since it is a pure voltage amplifier which i have shown over here the input is also going to be a uh, voltage so the mixing will also be a voltage okay that part is very very foolish everybody knows what many people confuse is if you want to have a voltage amplifier and you want to sample voltage do you want to sample the voltage in parallel or series parallel parallel why hello ha huh, hello why so in shunt because the voltage doesn't uh, in parallel the same voltage appear. same voltage excellent very good awesome uh, so that means you are sampling it in shunt now if it is a voltage amplifier then the input you are mixing the voltage what will be the mixing here series series very good why because voltage can be added or subtracted in series only correct kvl no. applied here ha huh, sorry kvl sir ha huh, kvl kcl so definitely that's a universal basically what is kcl you know kcl is the conservation of charge yes sir and kvl is conservation of energy or potential yes, theek hai yes. so that means kcl kvl is applicable everywhere so ideally there is kcl kvl i mean theoretically not ideally theoretically you can apply kcl kvl in air also in any material 
but however kcl kvl is uh, kind of applying the very fundamental energy conservation and charge conservation in circuits electrical circuits that's it so kcl kvl bol ke matlab i mean that's good enough for the bit, uh, school school boys <laughs> okay kcl kvl is not the answer okay very nice so acha mixing series mixing in series okay now comes the most important part so if you are doing it in mixing in series by the way if you are mixing in series how can you do it minus over here how can you mix so basically what i am suggesting here is this a v o that is the okay plus minus okay this is your rl okay this is plus minus vo this is uh, vi let us say okay now if it is a voltage amplifier as you can see vo and vi you are going to have shunt over here okay this is the plus this is the plus notice the polarity yahan plus hai yahan plus hai yahan minus hai theek hai now if you want to add this in uh, in uh, add this means you are, if you want to mix this with the input what will you do remember voltage can be added only in series correct badhiya hai hum series mein hi add karenge is this all right no sir very good why ye kaun bol raha hai who is this sumit sir very good you are in embedded ha huh? yes sir very good ha ah, bolo kyun sir signal must be added out of phase sir. out of phase so that means you have to essentially reverse the polarity exactly everyone with me hello everyone yes, with me right ek second minus plus no the first one was correct so this is plus this is minus hai na so that means in this phase if you are adding then you are essentially making it uh as you can see this is plus to minus this is plus to minus here okay so that means you are adding in that means mixing in the negative phase okay so now looking at this feedback topology what is the preferred ro and what is the preferred ri obviously one can understand that in the output it is parallel correct so that means whatever is the input zi for this feedback uh, network okay so this zi will come in parallel with the rl and the ro over here remember do not forget uh, the zo over here also so zo parallel zi parallel rl so that means you are going to have the least among all these three components yes or no anybody say yes if anybody is having problem please tell me this is fundamentals these are basically from bitec ठीक है ना देखो ये जेडो हो गई आर एल हो गए और ये जेड आई सो बेसिकली यू आर हैविंग जेडो पैरल आर एल पैरल जेड आई दैट मीन्स योर आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस विल गो टू जीरो ओके हाउ अबाउट द इनपुट इम्पिडेंस सीन ओवर हियर वन इज जेड आई ओवर हियर वट वट इज द ओवर हियर दैट विल बी जेडो ओवर हियर बट वॉट वी ऑब्जर्व दैट जेडो प्लस जेड आई इज देयर isn't it because you are adding in series so the total input resistance with this negative feedback ri goes to infinity as a consequence what you will now you can connect the dots just remember in case of an op amp what did we know this what was zi infinity sir exactly q infinity karte the kyunki 
it was essentially having a negative feedback we will do it such that this ri will go to infinity and what is the uh, zo zero sir exactly q now you can connect the understanding so inside this triangle uh, if i have an opportunity of teaching analog ic design i will design what is inside this triangle okay so this is simply a black box approach of an op amp so inside the op amp how to design an op amp is the beginning of ic design analog ic design analog ic design be begins with op amp so the, uh, anyway so here is this now what we understand from here is that the typical op amp which you have studied in your btech is actually a voltage amplifier okay hamesha dekhna in uh, uh, btech mein jitne bhi op amp circuits kiye the output is always voltage input is also voltage yes or no thank you okay now my question is this is a voltage amplifier agar uh suppose i want to make it as a current amplifier then what is the situation how will you sample the current so now the uh, thing is like io now the output is the current io usually we will do it in the reverse direction yeah doesn't matter anyway ठीक है देन वॉट इज द सिचुएशन हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू सैम्पल द करेंट सीरीज सीरीज नेटवर्क एग्जैक्टली ऑसम तो यहां पर हम सीरीज डालेंगे कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर हो रहा है ना देखो नाउ हाउ डू यू एड करेंट सीरीज में तो करेंट सेम रहता है पैरल एग्जैक्टली नाउ अगेन यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड वेदर तो पहले तो इसको Huh. Now, now it depends on whether you are, excuse me, whether you are going to connect this plus the uh, this one. The direction of the current is here. Negative direction means so. If this is your I F, the feedback current, this feedback current is going in this direction. so this has to connect over here and this has to connect on the opposite direction okay look at this this is going that side and this is coming in this side as a consequence it is lessening the current so that means your gain will be reduced so this is essentially your negative feedback okay now the main concept over here is if you are having a series here then what is the situation ro becomes infinite exactly and here ro becomes zero tends to zero not so later on in analog ic design you should learn uh, something more important from an ic perspective something called ota operational transconductance amplifier this is my one of my favorite circuits actually so if it is an ota then the output is going to be current not voltage this is not a typical uh, op amp in that case what we will try to do this zo should become infinity and zi should become zero understood everybody so actually zi may not be zero because sometimes what we do is the output is current the input is voltage transconductance amplifier as i said so if the input is voltage you are also going to mix in which way that is going to be series only so for an uh, this is a current amplifier as i said if it is a transconductance amplifier it will become gm so what happens over here ri is also infinity and we are going to sample again in series exactly so this is the case of an ota operational transconductance amplifier okay now this brings us to one of the typical patent questions in interviews you will 
uh, encounter you might encounter anywhere in the future that is in fact this is one of my favorite questions uh, when you are applying a v bias at the gate terminal of a nmos pmos then this you are adding it as a load this is your vdd okay now what is this notice that vdd and v bias okay these are essentially uh, kind of dc supply yeah this is power supply is dc so in that case when we are call, uh, doing the ac analysis why do we consider them as grounded very simple forget about this active load this is rd rl pmmg students without anyone embedded systems anyone what is the output resistance here ro rd parallel rl very good parallel kyu kar rahe bhai ye to ground hai yahan par to vdd hai na sir superposition theorem lagate hain to ek ek time peak source hi active rakhte hain to ac ac jab source connect karte hain to hum dc ko ground maan lete hain ha kyu very good awesome you are thinking in terms of superposition that's excellent but uh, dc ko hum ac maan lete hain kyu ground maan lete kyu iska physical karan kya hai in fact what you have said is uh, like i think everybody is following him so uh, what he is trying to tell this is the basic uh, concept behind thevenin's equivalent also in thevenin theorem remember that all the dc sources are grounded ideal dc sources by, by the way independent voltage sources are grounded correct or short circuited to be exact so if this is hum ise ground maan lete hain as uh, he has rightly said kyun physically kya ho raha hai it doesn't fluctuate like ground mm, is no something better abhi main bataunga na matlab dimag ki batti jalegi <laughs> think think physically <laughs> yeah, i think like an engineer what is happening how Sorry, how resistance is so and the voltage source also like if you connect a battery that also is basically like a capacitance so exactly exactly very good we may always remember one thing that any dc power supply is a pre charged capacitor okay any dc battery or dc source okay is a pre charged capacitor but the only difference between a standard pre charged capacitor and a battery is can you can you tell me dekho ek ha bolo somebody yeah sir providing energy infinite long period of time in battery in capacitor yes. short period of time exactly uh, uh dekho this is your load usually what happens jaise ki sorry you are having a load here and as if you have got a switch okay so the moment you turn one appliance let us say theek hai koi uh, calculator le lo calculator mein aapka circuit hai that is the giving you the net load of the circuit huh? that is basically zi let us say ri of the uh, input input resistance of that calculator back uh, calculator circuit and this is a pre charged capacitor awesome the moment you turn on the capac uh, uh, calculator or any appliance for that matter what happens aapka ye short ho jayega okay then the discharging begins okay the only difference between a pre charged capacitor and a battery is basically the battery is a precharged capacitor with a very very large value of rl into c okay this time constant is very large so what is happening is if the if a precharged capacitor normal capacitors it is going to discharge very very soon so if it is a uh, let us say a battery cell 1.5 volt battery cell this is going to discharge in how much time let us say one year one or two years it is going to last 
okay so that means we can simply uh, so if you are working in exide or everready or i don't know what are the um, omron batteries okay so if you are an engineer in the omron batteries then your target will be to increase this as high as possible depending on that particular application because aapka battery bana rahe ho okay whereas if you are working in uh, let us say qualcomm theek <laughs> hai in qualcomm you are also going to encounter capacitances inside the chips right over there ye pura ulta hoga your your target will be to reduce this tau as low as possible such that your response time is better okay so you are essentially in vlsi design you have learned this only right ki how to reduce the time constant and uh, so that the performance is improved but suppose you are working in the battery uh, industries then your target will be just the reverse you should try to then uh, tomorrow probably the uh, everybody will sell okay everybody will sell a new set of batteries which will say that okay instead of one year it lasts for two years basically what happens is aapka ye jo hai na that is even flatter so the engineers in the battery uh, industries they are essentially trying for increasing this uh, tau as high as possible okay so now coming back to the original question so if you are putting a v bias here all we have understood as v bias is also a battery here so in the ac equivalent circuit kya ho raha hai this is becoming a ground here this is also becoming a ground here because these are as i said uh, for the ac analysis you are considering the high frequencies in the high frequency the capacitances are shorted so that means all these batteries are which are effectively uh, precharged capacitors capacitances are shorted at high frequency so that is the reason why these dc supply we will call it as ac ground i mean i prefer to call it that way these are obviously the actual ground now agar yahan par humne ground kar diye then the next question is uh, what is this configuration then this is basically common gate cg configuration right now one very important question in fact i asked during the interviews अगर कॉमन गेट अगर आप किताबों में पढ़ोगे इफ यू रीड कॉमन गेट कॉन्फिगरेशन और कॉमन बेस कॉन्फिगरेशन इन द टेक्स्ट बुक्स बी टेक लेवल टेक्स्ट बुक्स वॉट यू विल फाइंड इज दैट कॉमन गेट कॉन्फिगरेशन इज गोइंग टू हैव आर ओ वेरी हाई आर आई वेरी लो सो इन दिस केस आर आई इज लो ओके आर ओ इज इंफिनिटी ओके देर फॉर कॉमन गेट कॉन्फिगरेशन इज नेवर यूज एज अ वोल्टेज एम्पलीफायर you will read that and unfortunately this has led to a common misconception even i have seen professors faculties also they do not know this they will say common gate configuration is never used okay but my dear common gate is never used only for voltage amplifiers but in modern technology in ic fabrication remember in our yesterday's lecture i was telling you about mirroring right current mirrors and current sources because throughout the ic current biasing is the most effective form of biasing in an ic okay i will sometime uh, later on in this course i will discuss how to design an ic complete ic so uh, in that case what happens is you are supposed to bias it with current source so agar aapko current source dena hai then you are going to mirror it somewhere then that means as i told yesterday deep saturation is becoming so important and a deep saturation region not the soft saturation deep saturation because all the ics are biased using current sources or agar current sources ya current mirror se banaoge we will anyway bias it in the uh, deep saturation region remember yeah right yesterday's uh, session okay so agar uh, deep saturation mein karna hai then you are going to ensure that the maximum amount of so basically this load is going to be like a current source okay in fact in uh, many textbooks you will find ki isko hata ke ye sab kachra hata ke yahan par sirf ek aise bata dete hain 
but how do you implement this current source here so the current source is either you are going to use using current mirrors or current uh, uh, current uh, current mirrors basically or else you can use the configuration which i had just shown that means cg configuration kyunki cg configuration mein dekho ro is infinity ri is zero which is exactly matching the configuration of kya maine bhi bataya na current amplifier so that means if you want to have higher amount of current at the output matlab current amplifier current sources ke hisab se agar dekhoge then cg is better than cs so in an op amp in an ota in an analog amplifier in our digital ic's also biasing network mein agar hame amplification ki zarurat hai you will preferably go for the cg configuration so do not say henceforth is common gate amplifier since ro is infinity ri is zero c common gate amplifier is never used no 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 common gate amplifier is never used in voltage amplification jaise कॉमन गेट एम्प्लीफिकेशन में यहां नहीं करूंगा नो हियर आई विल ऑलवेज यूज सी एस बिकॉज दिस इज दी आई दिस इज दी ओ सो दिस इज एक्चुअली एक्टिंग एज द मेन एम्पलीफायर लेकिन द लोड इफ आई एम यूजिंग अ करेंट सोर्स लोड ठीक है देन आई विल यूज द सी जी ओवर देर लेटर ऑन यू विल सी दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल द टॉट एम पोल कॉन्फिगरेशन इन एनालॉग एस डिजाइन Uh, if sir is teaching you this is the totem pole configuration or simply cas code pata remember you must have heard this term totem pole was used in the bgt amplifiers but cas code configuration used in analog that means cas code is basically cg on top of cs jo the way i have shown it here okay so this cas code configuration is routinely used in ic design got it everyone huh? so why cg is important is because cg will act as a better current amplifier why cs is used as the uh, cs configuration used over here is because cs is a better voltage amplifier okay i will discuss about the common drain later <laughs> okay so these are very basic concepts which you should remember uh, i have been digressing so much all right now let's come back to the original class today this was all about the feedback sir, one doubt sir yes yes please tell sir like uh, with with the help of common source we can make it we can make it as current source no sir with the help of like uh, if you operate in vds greater than vds minus vt uh huh so it lacks like uh, uh, once if it is saturated sorry it like, uh, once if yes. it is vds minus vt it acts yes. as a current source no sir Yeah, yeah, you can no, do it. That uh, that CS we can use in a service. So which is better, like uh, when compare both are no, acting no, no. as a current source, even common source and common gate. No, I am speaking about an amplifier. What you are saying is that it is definitely going to be flat. So it, uh, what what you are suggesting is that uh, if I am using it even in the deep saturation, this is CS itself. Ah yes, CS. ID VG, ID VDS. Okay. So if you are using up in the Uh, deep saturation. A deep saturation region like this. It acts as current source. What will happen is this will be like a current source. Yes, sir. Okay, but if you are using it like a load, mm -hmm. uh, load in the current source, then you you can actually uh, use it even in the common gate configuration. Okay, because common gate will give you that R O is zero and R I. Um, sorry. ri is infinity ro is zero. zero but if it is in the deep saturation you are essentially achieving that itself if you notice ro is infinity here in, is here itself isn't it yes, so sir. if you are using a, a cs amplifier in the deep saturation it is definitely going to do that but your ro part will not be uh, it is going to be questionable uh -huh. because in if you are using cs configuration this is only Showing you the RO part, isn't it? But RI, आपको पता नहीं है. But luckily for us, if you are using uh, MOSFETs, MOSFETs generally will have RI equal to infinity. But the problem is that, uh, I mean, you would try to have RI equal to zero, isn't it? For a current amplifier, okay. So um, 
you can definitely use a cs amplifier okay as the current source of course but it is preferred as i said preferred because uh, if you are trying to use a cg your ri will also be very much reduced okay sir okay so like can't we say since it is acting acting as a current source like a ri is zero and ri is infinity for cs amplifier so cs amplifier mein ri uh, zero kahan se ho raha Uh, like it since like we are modifying na sir like we are converting into current current source current source na sir uh how but uh, how are you modifying like we are suppose, giving vds suppose this is your uh, simple cs amplifier theek okay? hai yes sir so now you are operating it in the deep saturation region so deep yes, saturation sir. region means you are uh, how do you how do you ensure that it is always in the deep saturation If VDS is greater than VGS minus VT, or if VDS correct. is greater than VGS, huh? Sorry, VDS, VDS is greater than VGS. VDS is greater than VGS, correct? Yes, sir. So यहाँ पर ये VDT हो गई, okay? And this is the rest of the circuit. Yes, so sir. So how can you always ensure that the V, uh, this VDS, is always greater than v, uh, VGS? What you can do is you can basically put V bias, which is very low. Okay, sir. But this V bias, notice. You are essentially putting one DC only. Yes, sir. So DC, what has happened? Short. The uh, op short, sir. Huh. So that means it is again becoming a common gate only, right? Yes, sir. Okay. The only variation can happen for the VDS because this is one part of the circuit. Suppose this is VO. So this VDS will keep on varying, but the input you are essentially again shorting it, just like the V bias. Yes or no? Yes, so sir. even though uh, you are thinking that okay uh, cs kya hai common source means the source is grounded here the gate is basically grounded for the ac application so effectively it is behaving like a cg only yes sir okay okay thank you sir mm -hmm. very nice so uh, now what we have understood is uh, the barkhausen criterion says that Uh, for sustained oscillations or uh, to avoid in, the the condition for instability is abt abt equal to minus 1 very simple that's all we have understood very clearly now now suppose we have got an inverter okay is inverter ka output ko okay i am just using this a and beta <coughs> excuse me i am just using the two inverters back to back we will see this is a very important configuration specially for sram okay uh now this inverter ka output yahan pe input hai you can see this all right so this is going to have a stability right we say vo is the input to vi you can see this inverter this is zero this is one one input hai to output zero hoga so they will reinforce each other this is a standard topology for making sram cells okay now when will this system become unstable for instability from here we learned that the dvo dvi the should be equal to minus 1 now if we come to the vtc which we have studied in our previous lectures we understand that uh this this gray color line you remember vo equal to vi plus vtp vi minus vtn on all these two lines they are ensuring like the various regions of operation of the different uh transistors that means p transistor and n transistor n fed and p fed which regions they are operating now in this vtc dvo by dvi is simply telling you the slope of the curve simple theek hai to is slope jahan par minus 1 hoga okay let me put it a big spot over here this point and this point these two points are the unstable points okay so that means at under no cost under no situations the input should reach this vil soch lo agar input vi equal to vil ban jata hai and if it sustains over there somehow what will happen the output from this vtc will be voh and essentially that is the point where you will have oscillations so what we are trying to do is when we are trying to design the noise margin okay we will try to figure out 
the extent before uh, i mean the extent of stability before uh, the uh, vtc reaches this vil and vih positions okay so what we are going to do is this uh, let me just draw a straight line here Just a second. Let's see what it is. Hmm. Okay. All right, so what are we trying to find out here? That this is, let us say, the VI. This is, let us say, the VO. So this is your VDD. This is your zero. Okay, here for a couple of things. For the VI, you will notice this is going to be zero, say, like a VTN, uh, VIL. Okay, zero to VIL we can say that the input is stable okay because remember vil se pehle input is stable vdd stable okay then be, the moment it reaches vil it is becoming problematic okay so i'll put here somewhere here let us say this is your vil okay then vih se lekar vdd tak bhi stable hai okay so i'll put here VIH. I'll use a different this color VIH. So what is this part? Stable. What is this part? This part is also stable. Perfect. Now we will go to the VO side of things. VO ke liye, dekho, zero to VOL stable hoga, correct? Because this is the point VIH, uh, VIH and VOL. This is the point of instability. So zero to VOL stable hoga. So zero to VOL. I'll use the green color here. So this is the stable. And similarly, VOH is close to VDD here. So this part is also stable. Okay, I'm, I'm just copying it from here. So relatively, VDD minus VOH is this distance. VDD minus VH is this distance. VDD minus uh, <clears throat> 0 to VOL is this distance. Okay, no? 0 to VIL is 0 to VIL. And this VIH to VDD is this much. Okay. So the noise margin, okay, is defined. Now notice that what is the noise margin? This is your noise margin part. Okay, this is not visible nicely. So I'll use. This is noise margin high. This one is noise margin low. Okay. Why is it noise margin? So try to understand this. Like, why is it called the noise margin? VLSI design. VOH, VIH to samaj mein aagaya from the stability criteria, instability criterion. Then how do you understand that this is noise margin? Noise margin ni kyu kehte hai isko? Tell me. It overpowered the noise, sir. Uh, no, no. 
think in terms of the circuit okay hint look at this circuit and tell me is rather complicated let's take about just a cascade So it can sustain this much noise while passing it from the same invert, like one inverter to the another inverter at its output. So uh, if it uh, incurs uh, that much noise, it will still be understood as a one and or a zero. That's why it's called noise margin. Any better answers? You are thinking correctly, but not the answer which I'm looking for. Okay, look at it. I am essentially adding two inverters, identical inverters, one after the other. Okay, cascade kar ke, kar Then notice whatever is the output of this inverter is going to be the input of this inverter. Okay, so if you uh, if the input of this inverter, remember the same input is here also. The output will be repeated here also. These are two identical inverters. So if this is your VI, then what we have said is that the, the this inverter will perform perfectly well, okay, before it reaches this instability and all that, as long as this VI, as long as VI is uh, this, this is also perfectly fine, or else when VI is this. Make sense? And देखो stability जैसे मैंने बताया, so V I H से V D D तक stable है, ठीक है? This will basically keep this inverter perform performing perfectly well. Then again zero to V I L the this will be performing perfectly well. Okay? Then from the output side of the things, okay? What is the stability zone? As long as uh, VO is the stability zone. They call VOH se leke VO, VDD tak. Okay. So this is, uh, it can be greater than this, less than this. Or else VO can be less than VOL or less than zero. I know. Ideally, hum log kya chahenge? This should be perfectly, yeah, this VO should be either zero or VDD. But it never happens, right? It will be having some uh, noise and all that. So these are the two regions of stability. They could stable, stable when I Then what is the range in which notice that if this uh, VI is higher than VOH, just a minute, VO is higher than VOH, then there is no problem at all. Hamari liquid tension in it. But because of noise, this VI can be lower than VOH, right? Manlo, uh, let us assume that you are having, because of some noise, instead of the stability zone of the VO, the VI is somewhere, VO is somewhere here. That means VO is somewhere here. VO is this one. This is going to be the input of the next stage. But we want the next stage to still consider that even though there is a noise, this one is a noise, Still, the next inverter should read it as input high. It, it should read that as if although it is below the VOH, the stability zone, still the input is actually high only. Okay. So that is the reason why this is the noise margin. That means uh, not from VDD, it's from VOH minus VIH. That means that is the maximum amount of noise the second inverter can still tolerate and yet perform correctly. Got it, everyone? Clear, Hora? So that means, Manlo, uh, here is VO. This VO is going to be the input of the next stage, right? But the next stage will see, okay, although the VO is less than VOH, but it is still higher than VIH. So it will still consider it as logic high. So in, now you understand that if we can increase the noise margin, what will happen? The robustness of your digital circuits will improve. 
In fact, now you can clearly understand that noise margin concept itself gives you a lot of robustness against noise. In fact, we often say it, right? Uh, we all, all know that digital circuits are preferred than analog circuits is because of its what error control coding. Uh, so, it, it, I mean, the data is not erroneous, correct? So noise effect will be less. All these things we have learned uh, through theory. Now we can really appreciate it. So this noise margin is defining the range of noise which the second inverter or basically that IC can tolerate. Okay, it can still uh, understand that it is high logic itself. Got it? So that means as an engineer, your target will be always to increase this noise margins. Okay, now uh, our time is over. The modeling part we will do into the next class. So if you want to increase this, notice that ideally we, will, we should be having this VOH as close to VDD as possible. Okay, for example, I wrote this here. Ideally, we would expect VOH is equal to VDD, but it never happens. And VOL to be, this VOL should be as close to zero as possible. That means v, VOH agar VDD ke paas hai, VOL agar VDD ke paas, uh, zero ke paas hai, tab kya hoga? Aapka noise margin zyada ho jayega. We would expect, but it never happens so. But they are determined by the leakages. We will look into leakages later on in this course. But practically what happens, VOH is always less than VDD, jaise maine dikha hai, okay? And VOL is greater than zero, okay? Now, if VOH moves more and more towards VDD and VOL moves more and more towards zero, aapka noise margin badega, okay? Another way to increase noise margin is, you can uh, bring this VIH to as low as possible, VIL as high as possible. So as I told you, as an IC engineer, your target will be to increase the noise margin as high as possible. Both noise margin high as well as noise margin low. Taki, no matter how much amount of uh, noise is there, your circuit will still be robust enough to handle that noise. Good enough, right? Awesome. So, ek ho sakta hai ki VOH ko VDD kar dete hain, ideally, but it, it never happens. But VOL ko bhi hum zero kar dete hain, ideally, again that never happens. Okay. But you have got control over the VIH and VIL. In fact, that is, us control ko hum kaise banayenge, we will learn it in the next class. It will be mathematical as you can see. We will mathematically develop a model for the VIH and VIL and from that model, from that model mathematical equation, you will have a clear tools, which are the parameters to tweak, to control so that as an engineer, you can design the device as well as the circuits, the sizing of the circuit devices in such a manner that it is going to have the maximum noise margin. Okay. So we will learn that technique in the next class. But as of now, physically, we have understood that VIH ko kam karna and VIL ko zyada uthana. Okay, basically you extend this here, you extend this there. So noise margin will increase. Awesome, right? But kaise karoge? Is figures ko dekhe bata sakte ho kaise karoge? Common sense, intelligence. Sir, uh, sir, by reducing switching time, uh, means sir, exactly. uh, it should be more basically, flat curve. Hmm. Flat means vertical, right? Yes, sir. Flat matlab flat kya? Flat to ye hai. Isko or sharp Sh karna, right? Slope must be infinite. Exactly. Awesome. So slope ko agar hume infinite karna hai. If you want to ensure that this is very very sharp, what does it imply in the uh, device level? Yes, slope jo hai. What is the slope over here? That means the, not the slope over here. The slope in the middle region. <clears throat> you middle region kaun sa hai? Vo and v. this between these two lines, right? The gray lines. That means in the region where both the transistors NFET and PFET are in saturation. Jo humne pehle se hai. So in the saturation zone between these gray lines, one of you said the slope should be infinite. Correct. What does it imply? 
इसको क्या कहते हैं देखो दिस इज वी एंड वी आई स्लोप को क्या है स्लोप इज वॉट इन दिस रीजन गेन राइट गेन इज इट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द बेस्ट पॉसिबल नॉइज मार्जिन आपको क्या करना है इस स्लोप को इनफाइनाइट करना है दैट मीन्स इट हैज टू बी एज वर्टिकल एज पॉसिबल यानी कि इफ यू हैव एन इन्वर्टर लाइक दिस योर नॉइज मार्जिन विल बी टेरेबल ऑन द कॉन्ट्री इफ यू हैव एन इन्वर्टर लाइक दिस योर नॉइज मार्जिन विल बी इवन बेटर तो इसको एकदम वर्टिकल करना मतलब वट इज दिस गेन को बढ़ाना है so for the first time now i am thinking that look we used to think that okay gain is a parameter for analog ic design theek hai us samay hum log jaise aaj bhi maine bataya na avo aa likha maine oh maine mita diya that avo this avo i can call this as avo okay this avo that means open loop gain that is the intrinsic gain okay should go to infinity that means basically you have to increase the gain as high as possible so now we are understanding that if you want to make a better inverter also okay if you want to improve the noise margin if you want to maximize the noise margin so if you want to make that inverter extremely stable okay robust against noises then what you have to do you have to increase the intrinsic gain of that inverter in terms of analog ic design hum log kya kehte the active loaded cs amplifier right so the act, gain of the active loaded cs amplifier should increase should maximize got it ha huh? so now we understand ki gain badhane par sirf aapka analog ic design improve nahi hota digital ic bhi improve hote hain aapka noise margin bad jaye समझ में आया वेरी गुड एक्सलेंट सो टूडे वी हैव लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आई मीन आई मीन दिस विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर योर प्लेसमेंट्स एंड ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मॉडलिंग ऑफ द नॉइज मार्जिन सो दिस इज द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन एंड यूजिंग द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन वी विल ट्राई टू फिगर आउट हाउ टू काइंड ऑफ इंजीनियर such that the noise margin is maximized okay that's all for today thank you for joining